find angle x below if you look at this diagram a line starts from point a and moves to the center o another line starts from point c and moves to the center o now in the same way another line starts from a and moves to the circumference at b another line again starts from the same point c and moves to the circumference b so this shows that the angle formed at this circumference is related to the angle formed at the center don't forget the lines are all starting from a and c so that means that the one that goes to the circumference relates to the one that goes to the center and how are they related that angle at center is twice that at the circumference of a circle so that is the theorem to apply here that the angle at the center of a circle is equal to twice the angle formed at the circumference of the circle so that tells us that this angle 110 multiplied by 2 will give us angle x don't forget this 110 has angle at the center which is on the corresponding side so please don't make the mistake of taking the 110 multiply by 2 and you say it is the angle at this side no it must be the angle at the other side so this 110 multiply by 2 will give us the angle at the other side which is x so not on the same side so it must be on the corresponding side so i'll use the word corresponding side so 110 multiply by 2 will give us x so i simply say x is equal to 110 sorry 110 multiplied by 2 and that will give us 220 degrees so that is the rule here thank you for watching please subscribe to this channel so that you can get more video lessons like this